Action News Jax is now investigating what led up to this crash between a JTA bus and an Amtrak train this morning. You can see the bus looks like it tried to beat the crossing arm. Sky Action News Jax flew over where that crash happened. You can also see it happened at a five-way intersection at the height of the morning commute. Thanks for joining us, everyone, on Action News Jax at noon. I'm Phil Amato. And I'm Don Lopez. And we first told you about that crash on Action News Jax this morning at 7 is breaking news. And since then, we've learned JTA has already taken action against that driver. Action News Jack's Ryan Nelson joins us live right now from the scene. Ryan, in just the last hour, you've learned the driver was taken to the hospital just as a precaution and was already released but won't be returning to work. And Don, we're joining you from the scene of that crash this morning here at Old Roosevelt and McDuff. And I just want to give you an idea of what we're seeing right now in about the last 30 minutes since my photographer and I arrived. We've actually seen some maintenance workers here from CSX. And I will be reaching out to CSX asking specifically what they're doing. But it did appear that they were working on the crossing arm. So we will be reaching out to CSX to confirm what exactly they're doing at this time. But in speaking to JTA this morning, they tell me the driver's been placed on a hold status without pay. Until until the investigation is wrapped up. Now, this was the scene of the JTA bus crash this morning involving a train at Old Roosevelt and McDuff. In the video, you can see the shattered windshield of the bus and the safety aren't coming down on top of the bus. Now, Sky Action News Jacks flew overhead to give us an aerial view of the crash this morning. JTA tells us it happened at about 6.40 a.m. and a spokesperson tells me there were at least seven people on the bus at the time of the crash. Now, I have requested from JTA the records of the driver's employment and disciplinary history and ask if the driver was following protocol at the time of the crash. As soon as we have that information, we'll bring it to you here online and on the Action News Jax mobile app. Ryan Nelson, CBS 47, Action News Jax.